Hi everybody, Mother Jenna, Father Greg here. I guess really breaking into we your- We really are breaking in this We up. really are breaking into your day because um, not with a feast day, but with some exciting news. Um, why don't you tell us the news? Yeah, so some of you have heard, um, I am going to Ghana um, this week. I'm leaving uh, today on um, a diocesan pilgrimage. Um, and I just want to tell you a little bit about it and um, and ask for your prayers. Yeah, so tell us about the who's the group that's going? So there are 15 of us um, from the Diocese of Atlanta, about half clergy, half lay people. Um, the, diocese, the Episcopal Diocese of Atlanta, um, we are companion diocese with the Anglican Diocese, diocese of Cape Coast. Uh, so um, for over the last two or three years, um, we've had this companion relationship, um, sort of uh, really kind of trying to build relationships with our brothers and sisters in, in Cape Coast. Um, and so this is the third year that a pilgrimage, a diocesan pilgrimage is going to Ghana. The second year we're going to Cape Coast. And um, so, yeah. yeah. So there's uh, there's like a number of different there's so different levels of yeah things so there's happening. different layers um, the the primary layer really is um, is relationship building um, so we're going to be going uh, to meet um, Anglicans uh, in Cape Coast and hear about their ministries um, visit them in their parishes worship with them pray with them. Um, just talk about um, how we try to be faithful in our context. Um, we'll be with the bishop and his wife and his staff. Um, and then there's this other layer of, um, of kind of reconciliation work, um, particularly uh, around the legacies of slavery, um, some of the work that um, the folks of Ghana are doing around um, what it means for them to sort of acknowledge uh, the role in their history in, in, um, in the slave trade and what does it mean for us as Georgians uh, to think about our, our experience um, of slavery and history um, and, and contemporarily, quite honestly, um, and to do some of that work to visit, um, to visit uh, Cape Coast Castle, which is a, a kind of infamous slave castle um, where, where um, folks, uh, people from all over uh, Africa were, um, were held uh, before um, being sent in captivity on the Middle Passage. Um, so I anticipate that's going to be pretty, um, pretty intense and emotional. And um, and what does it mean to kind of visit those sites as as pilgrimage rather than as tourist or as historian? Right. Um, so yeah, there's a lot. We're going to go to um, a sem the seminary for the diocese of Cape Coast and visit with the seminarians there. Um, just see the sites. Be somewhere I've never been. Yeah. Nice. So you were telling me uh, of all the layers. Like what are the ones that most get you yeah. excited? Yeah. Um, so I'm. This is, I was telling you earlier. I'm most excited. Um, to have this experience of of Christ's body, the church beyond um, beyond just the U.S. or beyond just the Diocese of Atlanta, um, I've not really had an international kind of church experience. I mean, I've been to Canada a little bit, but like, um, I'm excited to just go. I mean, I'm most excited, honestly, to go to church on Sunday. You know, yeah. um, to experience Easter too um, in a totally different context, and yet one that's that's in some ways so familiar. Um, so I'm really excited to get a sense of what it means. You know, this. This identity that's so central to me to be part of this body of Christ, to really have an experience of that embodied differently than I've had it so far. I mean, I hope that that becomes kind of real for me in a way that um, is is more or less imaginary than it is, or less theoretical than it is for me right now. And what uh, what is Holy Trinity uh, experience from this? Yeah, so when I come back, I'm excited to tell y'all stories and share my experience. Um, and I think there's a real hope, and, and this is a little tentative, and, and nobody quite knows what this is going to look like. But part of what we are looking for in a companion diocese relationship. Um, so the bishop, the bishop of Cape Coast is Bishop Victor Atabafo, and his whole thing when we were exploring this diocesan companionship was, he said, I don't, I don't want Atlanta to send us money, and you know what I want is relationship. Yeah. And so to think creatively about what it might look like, you know, whatever parish I end up visiting on Sunday, what might it look like to actually enter into relationship? Mm -hmm. um, what might it look like for, you know, when, when I come back and tell these stories of something in your heart kind of stirs, what would it look like for you to apply to go on this trip next year and visit the same parish I do and um, communicate? I don't know. I don't quite know what it looks like, but my hope is that there will be some way for Holy Trinity um, to, to build on this relationship that I'm kind of going to, um, going to, to, plant little seeds for it somewhere. I don't know what that looks like, but we'll Good. see. We'll see. So. All right. Well, we're going to pray for Mother Jenna and for that group as they go. And we were talking about what prayer, uh, of course, we'll keep her in our prayers for safety and for uh, traveling mercies and all that. But we thought uh, a prayer for the unity of the mm -hmm. church seemed appropriate. So let us pray. Oh God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, our only Savior, the Prince of Peace. 
give us grace seriously to lay to heart the great dangers we are in by our unhappy divisions. Take away all hatred and prejudice and whatever else may hinder us from godly union and concord. That as there is but one body and one spirit, one hope of our calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of us all, so we may be all of one heart and of one soul, united in one holy bond of truth and peace, of faith and charity, and may with one mind and one mouth glorify thee through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. That's a long prayer, but it says it all, really. Yeah. It's beautiful. So you're leaving on, on so leaving Friday? Friday afternoon. Friday um, is the 26th of April. 27th, I think. Well, whatever, the, whatever yeah. Friday is. Yeah, Friday after yeah. Easter Day. Yeah, Friday after Easter Day. So leaving on Friday, and um, and then I'll return uh, the afternoon of Saturday the 4th. And so my hope is I'll see y'all on the 5th. Very red-eyed. Very red-eyed, very jet-lagged, and hopefully um, very just excited and overwhelmed. So, yeah, good. Yeah. Well, safe travels. We'll miss yeah. you. We'll see you when you get yeah, back. Yeah, thanks for your prayers. Right. Bye, everybody. Bye. Oh, wait, can I say one more thing before you Please. stop it? Sorry. Um, so I'm going to try to um, send you all little dispatches and updates. So check Holy Trinity's Facebook and Instagram, and um, I'll try to just give you little snippets along the way.